Hey there, fellows. In this episode, I suggest we try something really curious. Now, it's going to be a car-related experiment, as always, and we'll be using this wonderful power plant for the purpose. More specifically, the oil it contains is going to be the center of today's experiment. So have I got some good news for you fellows. Some cool new merch available on our website. Like for example, these sweet signature hoodies. And the good news doesn't end there. The first 25 people to order these hoodies, we'll be offering them a 25% discount. And don't forget that there's a bunch of other stuff that you can order on our website. T-shirts, baseball caps, mugs document holders, and we're offering some generous discounts on the entire lineup. And on top of any order you make, we'll throw in one of these stickers on the house. Don't miss your chance to get some merch at discount prices. Hit the link in the video description and grab yourself something. I'm sure some of you have been in a situation when... So you went in for an oil change, the car is new to you, you bought some expensive oil for it, and so you're driving. This is something that often happens with Ladas, by the way. And so here you are, and all of a sudden you see an oil pressure warning light. And at this point you're seriously panicking since you're looking at doing another oil change on account of being served some bad oil. But in fact it's all much simpler. Now the more expensive oils have a ton of additives that slowly begin to wash out deposits, and those get into the filter and clog it. Now a seasoned car enthusiast is gonna know what's up, He's gonna remove the filter he's running, replace it, and the pressure problem is gonna go away. So there you go, there's a sort of prologue for you. And right here we have a car, which has gone about 10,000 kilometers without the oil being changed. Now the owner did tell us that he topped it up about 3,500 to 4,000 kilometers ago. He brought the oil level up to maximum, which is about where it's at right now. Right here I've got a stockpile of them filters, and so I suggest we try cleaning that oil by replacing filter after filter. So we start the car, let it warm up, then we remove the filter, throw that away, install a new one, fire the car up, let it run for a bit more time, then we shut it down, replace the filter, and repeat until we go through all of them. The point is, to see how well it works, how much of a cleansing effect it has, to see where the experiment goes. I mean, will it even get any cleaner? After so many kilometers, the oil in there is dirty as hell. Now, we don't have a lab we can use to examine the oil, but what we do have is a few test tubes, which we can pour some oil into to see what color it was from the start, where it got after replacing 10 filters, then 50, who knows, we might even get to 100. We'll be putting quite a bit of time and effort into cleansing that oil. I expect to keep going until we run out of filters. And we'll be comparing along the way to see how the color changes. So let's check the oil level for starters. We were told that it has been topped off, so it should be okay. Let's have a look. Yeah, exactly. Exactly at the max level. Now we need to pour some into a test tube. Though you can already tell that it has seen better days. Let's go ahead and fire up the engine. We'll let it run for a bit. Just don't let it get too warm. Now we need to extract a sample. Let me grab my beaker. The filter location isn't the best, but it is what it is. This is the only car we have that's seen this sort of mileage. We'll have a tiny bit left in every filter. And here's what we got, fellas. It's not even transparent when it's covering the side of the tube. You can't even see through it. Doesn't get any blacker. And now we grab a new filter. It's nice and fresh. We install it. Fantastic. And now let's start it with the new filter. We'll let it run for five minutes, shut it off, let the oil drip down and replace the filter again. So after 10 filters, we'll grab another test tube and see whether anything has changed or not. I expect it to become slightly lighter, 
Now, since we don't have a lab, the only thing we can really do to get an understanding is visual examination. Yeah, let's make it 10 filters. After 10 filters, we look at the results. Let's do this. So far, we seem to be looking pretty good. We've worked through 10 filters, which have been cleaning the motor oil. So let's remove this filter, prepare a, a beaker, That's enough. And now let's compare them to each other. We've got two samples. Now I've already had a peek. I was just too curious, couldn't help myself. Now looking at it through the light, do we see any changes? The oil is dripping down, so we've got a pretty clear view. And it seems to me that nothing really changed. The color is exactly the same. However, in the first test tube, the one we used to collect oil from the old filter, the very first one that the car rolled in with, and that has done around 10,000 kilometers. Anyway, take a look at this oil. There are some kind of deposits in there. Those are the deposits that the oil washed out from the engine. So it gradually washes out all of this crap. And I guess you can say that these 10 filters did what they were supposed to, given we don't see any of that in this one, though the color is still the same. And there's another problem, in that, well, you know how an oil filter works, right? You've got a valve in there, which keeps any filth that it catches from going back into the engine block. Now, the way it works is simple. It's located down here, the oil is fed through these little holes, and right here you've got this rubber bit that prevents the dirty oil that's being collected within the filter from dripping back down. I suggest we take a filter apart, remove the filter element, which is an easy enough thing to do, place that into some kind of container, and we'll pour the dirty oil right into the middle. Meanwhile, the dirt is going to stay within the felt. I mean, it doesn't really matter which way it's getting filtered, since the filter element works both ways. Now, the fact that we've used up 10 filters, and that we're looking to siphon a small amount of oil through just one of them shouldn't be an issue, I mean, on the engine the system was under pressure, while here it's just going to be dripping. I'm pretty sure that the contaminants are not going to displace anything. I had let's put together a filtration apparatus and channel all of this gunk through it. All right, we've done some filtration. We've got a jar of oil right here. Let me just grab that funnel. And let's not forget to screw the cap back on. Okay, here we go. There we are. Now I'm 107%. Confident that after the oil has gone through the filter, it no longer contains any sort of contaminants. Now let's have a look and see what's up with the oil level. It is definitely going to be dropping, since we won't be able to completely empty these filters. Oh yeah, well, there you go. You can already tell that the oil level has dropped considerably. Okay then. I guess we'll see how long it's able to last. That's just how it goes. We want this to be a fair experiment. Okay, I've screwed the cap on. Now let's start the car for five minutes, let it run for a bit, and then we let the oil drip back down. Then we remove the filter and pour the oil into a separate container so that we don't lose too much of it. Yeah, that'll do. The oil pressure light is off, now we just let it run. Five minutes. Five minutes, five minutes. 
Is that a lot? Or is it not? So look here, fellows. We've gotten to the moment of truth. We have gone through 50 oil filters. 50 filters, isn't that amazing? And after going through them, here's what happened. We were doing checkups on the regular. Now look here. I'll go ahead and stick it in there. There we are and pull it out. See that? There is no more oil left in the engine. So now we collect a sample after filter number 50. So that's filter number 50. Go ahead and remove it. Now you be careful. Don't pour too much in. We need the same amount as in those other ones. I think that should do. And what do we see? Well, let's compare, shall we? That's where we started. 10 filters, 50 filters. Let's see. I'll angle them so the oil drips down the tubes. Okay, seems like we poured in too much, but oh well. And so now we flip and compare. What has changed? Oh, this all looks rather interesting. We seem to... Hopefully we're able to catch at least some of this on camera. The point is, it did get ever so slightly brighter. But even just at a glance... The changes are very minuscule, like maybe a semitone's worth, if you're comparing it to sample number one. As for the tube with oil out of filter number 10, well, it looks just about the same. So that's where we're at with this. You know what? In the tubes with oil from filters 10 and 50, there are absolutely no deposits. As in, there's nothing contaminating the oil. And that's all I have for you. We went the full 107% with this experiment. I mean, this had all the makings of a really good one. So we were able to clean the oil of any serious residue. You saw that for yourselves, that there weren't any contaminants in there. That said, we were unable to change the color of the oil with it pretty much being completely burned out. That oil is expired, and it should have been changed a couple of thousand Ks ago. <laughs> Another takeaway from this would be that swapping the filter every 10 kilometers is no way to restore your engine oil. This is one of those cases when, if it's spent, fuck it, it's spent. But how do we actually clean it? Get it back to baseline for it to be nice and transparent. I will think of something. We might even find a way to do it, but that's something we'll tend to a bit later. For now, we just pour some fresh oil into this one. I mean, thankfully we have a couple of new filters to spare. And that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe, suggestions, comments. Give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later.